zako na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni mambo nikiamini tuseme amen 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 siku ya leo ningependa tuweze kujifundisha uh, kuhusu why meditate on the scriptures word or a fast why meditate on a scripture word or a fast that is our topic today I want us to learn because it's a Bible study. Let us know or understand why we meditate on the scripture, on a word, on, on a fast. Bani Yesu asifiwe. Natarajia mtu andike maana tuko na vitapu na tuko na kalamu. Hapa ni shule tumekuja kuchifundisha yale Mungu ambaye ame ame ame, tuten, ame tu andalia siku ya leo. Mara nyingi Tunapo ingia katika nyumba ya Mungu tunakuja kujifundisha neno lake. Na siku ya leo na shukuru Mungu ni kwa chini kipindi hiki ya kujifundisha why you meditate upon the word. Medi- what is meditation? When you meditate meditation is a focus thinking about the Bible first in order to discover how we, ap- where we can apply its truth to our own life. Meditation means what? It is a focused thinking about the Bible first in order to discover how we can apply its truth to our own life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa Kiswahili ni kutafakari. Unapokaa chini mara nyingi, ni nini ambapo unayotafakari katika mawazo yako? What do you meditate so much in your mind, in your thoughts? All the time when you sit down in your quiet room, in your quiet time, quiet place, what are you meditating on? When you saw the What runs in your mind when you sit down in a quiet place? Like now you are in the church, you are sitting. What's running on in your mind? What are you meditating on? Are you meditating on your problems? Are you meditating on the things at home? Are you meditating on the things that you are passing on or you are meditating upon the good things in your life? But today I want us to know that when you have that quiet time, you must meditate on the word of God. You must meditate on the scriptures. Meditate on a fast. So when we, all the time we are meditating upon the word of God, there are two things. Word and a prayer. There is no day that you can meditate the word without a prayer. So when you meditate upon the word of God, definitely you are praying. Because there is a voice inside you that you, it's, it's, it's teaching you about the word of God. You start praying the word of God. So word of God inspires prayer. Word of God inspires prayer. What does it mean when it says it inspires prayer? It commands, the word of God commands us to pray and make us, makes the promise to us of what had will to do in our prayers. When we meditate upon the word of God, when we meditate upon it, you start praying. That word inspires prayer. The word that you are meditating upon you start meditating and then it become a prayer. Bani Yesu asifiwe. Why am I saying it become a prayer? All the time that when you meditate upon the word of God, the word of God is a prayer itself. We shall look at where some people in the Bible were meditating, were quoting the fast in the Bible. They write the Bible, yes, but they are quoting you. When you read it in the book of Hebrews, you find what is in Hebrews. You find in the Old Testament. So you find the one who read the Hebrews who are meditating upon the word. And again, he writes in the Hebrews. So let's read in the book of Joshua 1 verses 8. That we may understand what the meaning of meditation. When you meditate upon the word of God. Let's read in Joshua 1 verses 8. Joshua 1 verses 8. 
1 verse 8 Kitabu ya Yoshua mmoja mstari wake wa 8 Na mimi niko pale Study this book of instruction continually Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it only then will you prosper and succeed in all when you sasifiwe when you sasifiwe kanisa king james sinasema nini this book of law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have a good success when yes as if you were so when you meditate now upon the word of god this book of law which book this is now the book of law the book of god the bible it is a book of of god that's it says let this book of law not depart out of your mouth what does it mean it means that don't let this bible don't let this book out of your mouth out of your heart let every that is in written in it be written in your heart when you as if you so that you may meditate it day and night why the bible is telling us that meditate it day and night this book that's why the Bible says, the man cannot live by breath alone, but by the word of God that comes, by the word that comes out of the mouth of God. That's why in Atuambia Kwamba, meditate it day and night. Now when you meditate day and night, the word of God, what happened? You shall meditate it day and night that you may observe that you may observe what to observe what to observe to, uh, to obs that you may observe to do according all that is written to do according all that is written so when you meditate upon the word of god Kitapu iki cha Torati kisiondoki kinywani mwako bali yatafakari maneno yake mchana na usiku usipate kuangalia kutenda sawa sawa na maneno ya maneno yote yaliyoandikwa humo maana ndipo utakapo ifanikisha njia yako kisha ndipo utakapo chitawi ama kuna wili bwana Yesu asifiwe so when you meditate upon the word of God day and night, what happened to our life? We find the answer there. When you meditate the word of God day and night, now you come to understand. You do according the way it is written. Always end a candle na na jinsi ivyo vile imeandikwa. Mana utakapo tenda jambo lolote lile katika maisha ni mwako. Unatenda kulingana chinsi neno la mungu inavyo sema. Kama yoni mwalimu ama unailewa kingereza saidi. Every word there inatuele samahana kubwa sana. So when you are reading your Bible, read it step by step, word by word, so that you may understand what that word tells you. Pani iso asifiwe. So why we meditate upon these scriptures? We meditate it so that we may observe carefully what is in written in this word. We meditate it day and night in our life. Nothing else, only by meditating the word of God. So in Amanisha Akwamba, Sisi Wanadamu, Lasima Tuese Kuyatafakari, Neno La Mungu, Usiku Namchana, Akuna Techote Kile, Ambacho Tunayachilia Tena, Ama Tunayatafakari. Mara nyingi unapata kwamba kuna mtu anatafakari maneno yake. Anatafakari shida zake. Anatafakari vitu ambapo yanachukua mawaso yake. Kando na hiyo unapata kwamba yule mtu ameenda amefanya kinyume. Maana nini? Ameyatafakari mawaso yake. 
Ache tafakari neno la Mungu chinsi inavyotuambia mahali hapa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kumbuka mi mahali ambapo ninatoka sisi ufuka sana uh, mbusi na kondoo. Na mara nyingi mbusi na ufuka ziko na ndefu nyingi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So I remember there's a time tulikuwa tumeenda maombesi mahali. Na tulipokuwa pale maombesi aliyekuwa na ubiri alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa amefuka naye ndefu hatukujua katikati ya katikati ya ibada kulikuwa na mmoja alikuwa analia sana mtumishi anapoendelea kuhubiri anatasama lule uh, mama analia sasa so, anashindwa ni neno la Mungu inamfikia ama ni nini bwana Yesu asifiwe kando na lile Mjungaji akamuuliza ama mimi alikuwa na ubiri akamuuliza mama ni naomba uweze njoo mbele tukaweze kukuombea ili tuweze kushukuru Mungu maana kama hii neno umekukuza tunasema ni asante kwa Mungu Alipokuja hivyo akasema mimi nilipokuona nikakumbuka kondo ama peperu kwa Kiswahili tunaita peperu ilipepo na kulikuwa na landslide ilikuwa imekatika sasa lile kondo yake ama peperu uh, mbusi ilikuwa na nini zile manyoa kabisa lilienda na ile landslide ilipeleka huko chini sasa yule mama alipokuwa amekaa pale akaanza kuitafakari na kukumbuka picha ukiangalia picha yote inakukumbusha mahali si ni kweli so alipoangalia yule mtumishi haka tafakari kondo yake ilienda na landslide sasa akachipata familia maana ilikuwa ni kondo peke yake imbusi alikuwa anaipenda sana so can you imagine the way alitafakari miaka siliko simera ama siku siko simeenda hakaikumbuka inamaanisha nini hakili zake haikuwa katika yale mafundisho ilikuwa kwa nini ilikuwa kwa ile pepero ama ile kondo wanisa sifiwe So Biblia inatume inatueleza ya kwamba meditate upon the word of God that is one of instruction meditate upon the word of God so that you may be blessed you may become prosperous when you use fear so when you talk about meditation it involves reviewing you start reviewing the word of God in your mind You start remembering the word of God in your mind. You start resounding there is a sound inside you when you sit down and you start meditating upon the word. And there is no way that you can meditate upon the word of God without reading that word. So the first thing first of all we must read the word of God so that we may find what to meditate on. Is it true? You will not meditate upon the word of God until you read that word. So you must read the word of God and then go and meditate upon that word. And then when you meditate upon that word, it is start resounding in your mind. Resounding. There is that sound behind you when you sit down. There is that inside person that is speaking unto you. When you sit down, there is that person when you sit down kunao sauti nyingine ambapo inakuzungumzia ndani What do we mean when we say meditate upon the word of God is you start preaching to yourself you start preaching to your heart you start preaching to your soul When you sit down unaita um, mkutano maisha yako kwa sababu wewe uko katika utatu mwili nafsi na roho unaita kamkunji bwana Yesu asifiwe na unaanza kuwazungumzia mwili nafsi na roho you start preaching to your own self you sit down and start preaching to your soul you sit down and start preaching to your mind you sit down start preaching to your body bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa this is a bible study we are, we are understanding or we are we are dealing about how why we meditate upon these scriptures why we meditate upon this word of god why when you are so when we meditate upon this word of god we are reflecting 
ourselves. The word of God is like a mirror. When you read the word of God, it starts reflecting your life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naipenda sana hii a fast katika Joshua 1 verses 8. Inapotueleza ya kwamba this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. This book of the law, which book? This is the book of the law. That's why when you read from the Genesis, you find that this is the book of the law. We find the commandments in this book. We find all the rules from this book. So this book of the law, don't let it to depart out of your mind, out of your soul, out of your life. So that you shall meditate it day and night that you may observe it to do according to all that is written in it. What is in written in this book? Ni nini ya meandikwa katika hiki kitapu? Hiki kitapu ya meandikwa mambo mengi. Bibile inapo usome ya kwamba usiabudu miungu mingine ila mimi. Ni hiki kitapu. Have you observed that? Usiabudu miungu mingine ila ni mimi. Katika kitapu cha Exodus chapter 20. First one na about the Ten Commandments. Iko mali pale. So when you start to observe it, that is one of the commandments and the law that is in the Bible. To observe that, don't worship any other God. Worship me alone. Do not steal. Keep the day, the Sabbath day only. Have you observed it that day? Because the Bible says, don't let this book of the law depart out of your mouth. And then it goes on and tells us, Keep the day of Sabbath holy. Have you given the day holy? How do we keep the day, uh, the Sabbath day holy? How do we keep it? By worshiping God. By coming to the house of God and seek His face. So when now you read this pipe and you start meditating upon it, we find the blessings from this book. When we are talking about again meditating upon this word, we are enjoying it. We are feeling this word. We are feeling it from inside us. Mara nyingi, let me use this example. Unapo pokea uchumbe katika simu yako. Unapo isoma. Lile uchumbe. It sounds in your mind. Sinikwele. Unesapota mtu anacheka kwa sababu ya simu tu ama isoma. Ako peke yake. Hata ajesoma loud. And I saw that message. But to Kimona Mtu, Ametapasamo, Hama Amecheck, Unashindwa, Ninini Wim Tana Chekea, Hama Ninini Wim Tana Kasirikia, Ama Wea Ujawa Ifanya Ivo. Ujawa Ifungua message, Ambapo Imenge Kwa Simuyako, Uka Isoma. You meditate inside you that message, and you start enjoying that message, or you start feeling. That message, come, come on, bad news, you start feeling bitter because of that only message. So how now about the word of God? When you are reading the word of God, how are you enjoying it? How are you feeling inside you that word when you are reading it? I come to understand us. When you start, when you fear, you will start sinning. But when you fear God, and the word of God, you will hate sin. Bani Yesu asifiwe. Leo hii, kama una okopa sana kudhena dhambi, ama una okopa dhambi, utachipata umeitenda. Lakini kama una okopa mungu, utaichukia dhambi. Kwa sababu una okopa mungu. Na pipile na kuambia kwamba, unapo sema biblia, inakweleza chinsi, unapo kaa katika uh, utakatifu, Unaka kando na dhambi. Hauta okwa pa dhambi. Maano achua kwamba mungu yuko ndani yako. Pani iso sifiwe. So when now you meditate. That is now the importance of meditating upon the word of God. Remembering what you have read in the Bible. Remembering everything that you have been taught by different servants of God. When you sit down, you remember. The way you remember your things in your house. In your workplace. Kama kasini ume. Kama weekend is asa hivi. Unapo enda on Monday. Before you go to work on Sunday or when you are on the way, 
you are meditating upon the things in your workplace unasema kwamba nikifika nafanya hivi you plan your things in your mind before even you reach there bwana yesu asifiwe so i urge us that let us allow the word of god to be in us what does the bible tell us in the book of colossians 3:16 colossians 3:16 Colossians 3:16 Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and scriptural songs singing with grace in your heart to the Lord Bani Yesu asifiwe that is a one way of meditating upon the word of God let the word of the lord dwell in you richly what does it mean let the word of the lord dwell in your heart dwell in your soul richly it is not partially richly when he says if you will he kai sana ndani tusome kwa kiswahili atuambia nini acha neno la mungu likae kwa wingi ndani yenu when he says if you will Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa. Inamaanisha nini unapo in Biblia ama handiko inapotuambia kwamba let the word of God dwell in you richly. 360 inasema kwa Kiswahili Neno la Kristo nalikae kwa wingi ndani yenu katika ekima yote mkifundishana na kuonyana kwa sabori na nyimbo na tensi za rohoni huku huku mkimimbia Mungu kwa neema mioni mwenu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Neno la Mungu likae kwa wingi ndani yenu That is a one way of allowing the word of God to dwell in us that we may start meditating upon this word Hakuna chinsi utakavyo tafakari neno la Mungu kama haiko ndani yako. Kitu cha kwanza unaachilia neno la Mungu likae ndani kwetu sisi Saidi ili uanze kuyatafakari. Hawezi kutafakari kitu ambacho haiko ndani yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So let the word of God dwell in us. Let allow this book of law dwell in us all the time that we may start meditating all day and night. So that when you sleep at night you will not start meditating upon your problem you will not be having anxieties you will not fear you will not have any worry because when you remember the worries the word of god comes in you when you say fear i remember at night most those people that they have sleepless night they are meditating upon their problems you find person meditating all day and night getting worried nipo kwa naongea na mtu mmoja jana alikuwa na ile that worry of starting something what will when i start what will happen so na unapata kwamba amekawia sana katika maisha ni mwake hakuna uwezo wa kuanzisha biashara lakini anasema kwamba nikianza itakuwaache itakuwa vipi so that fear you start meditating about the fear of starting something in your life in a state of remembering the word of god in a state of allowing the word of god to be in you and proceed on you start meditating upon that problems when you as if you will so i urge us in everything that you do in our life at night when you are sleeping what are you meditating on your mind what are you reflecting what are you reviewing what are you remembering in your mind in your thought is it the word of god or the things that has passed your way that's what the bible tells us in isaiah remember No more the past things. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Remember no more the past things but pursue what is ahead. Don't allow the things so past to ruin your future. But allow the word of God to shape you and to show you the direction in every place that you go. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So when you allow the word of God to dwell in you, you will not have any anxiety in your life. You will not have any worry, you will not worry of anything. But in this state you will start rejoicing because when you remember a worry the word comes in you all the time that the bible says i will not leave you 
alone. I will not forsake you. When you start worrying, you remember that word. God, you say you will not forsake me. So you have that confidence that God is with me all day. So as a Christian, as a child of God, I urge us that let allow this book of the law to be in our hearts. To be written in our, what the Bible says in the book of Psalms 119 verses 11. What does it say? What does it say? Psalms 119 verses 11. Your word I have eaten in my heart that I may not sin against you. Your word, I have eaten your word in my hand that I may not sin against you. So all the time when you are meditating upon the word of God, this word of God is in your heart and you will not sin because you have allowed this word of God to be in you and you start meditating all the time of your life. You will never get discouraged in life because you have that word of God in you. All the time when you wake up in the morning, you remember the word of God. Every time that you have any worry in your life, you have any need, you have the word of God in you. And all when you have the word of God, when we go back in the book of Joshua 1.8, it gives us clearly first, 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 P, but P of Joshua 1 8 it says for then you will make your ways prosperous and then you will have a good success you will make your ways prosperous and a good success it means that when you meditate upon the word of God when the word of God dwell in you what will you make your life you will make your ways prosperous can you imagine that when you meditate upon the word of God when the word of God dwell in you, you will make your ways prosperous. All the answers of your life shall be in the word of God. And then it says, you will have a good success. You will not only have the success, but you will have that good success when you meditate upon the word of God. When the word of God dwell in you, you will have a good success. You will have the answers of your life. Because the Bible is a manual of our life. The book, this book is manual for, for our life. If you need anything, if you want to do anything, this is the manual. Go do it and fight. If you need a good marriage, read the Bible. If you need a good business, read the Bible. If you need a good life, read the Bible. All the answers are in the Bible. You don't need even to go somewhere and seek for advice. You seek something. Just go directly to the word of God. You may look somebody else, you may go to somebody asking for advice, asking for direction, but in his state, he start dividing you because of chillers that he has in you. You didn't know, you go to somebody to ask for guidance, you ask for advice. In his state, he started even dividing you, or he start talking against you in his friends. When you saw fear, Munongea Visuri Sana na Ulam Tumenda Kutafta Ushauri. Ukamambia mfitu vyako hama yale unayo pitia. Wewe unapuondoka mali pale, hana kutana na rafiki yake, hana sungumsa yale ulio mambia. Hule mtu anapu kuona, hanaona shida zako. Lakini kama ungeenda neno la mungu, na ukeenda katika pipilia, ungepata ushauri inayo pita mawaso ya manadamu, pani yeso sifiwe. Na kueleza siku ya le, hau tatembea katika vituo ambao na shauri watu. Unachukua biblia na unafungua na unasoma. Na ushauri wa kika na ukweli unaipata. Hau tapata kwa mtu. Maana chua kwamba mungu haka tuwacha. Wani usasifiwe. Hame tuwakikisha katika andiko lake. Kwamba when we meditate upon this day and night. We shall make our ways prosperous. And then our life. We shall have a good success in our life. Wani usasifiwe. Let's read in the book of Psalms 1 what the Bible tells us in the book of Psalms 1 and goes on. The book of Psalms 1, chapter 1, na kuendelea. Psalms chapter 1, verses 1, and it goes on. What does it? Blessed is the man who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the paths of the sinners, nor sit in the seats of the scornful. But this but his delight in the law of the Lord, 
and in his law he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruits in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever it does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Baneso asifiwe. Tumalisio kwanza mstari wake tato. Baneso asifiwe. What does the Bible tell us? When we talk, we are talking about why we meditate upon the scriptures. Why we meditate upon the word of God. What does it say in the book of Psalms? Blessed is the man. That is a one way. That is in a, 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 a hundred percent uh, belief. Hundred percent um, answer. That blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the paths of the sinners, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Bani Yesu asifiwe. Inatueleza nini kwa kika ineno la mungu? Inatueleza nini? I'm so happy because of this because of this word inapo inapo tueleza ya kwamba blessed is the man who works not in the counsel of ungodly when the word of god is in you you will never walk in the ways of those people they are not even believing in god you, your character your company shall not be of those people who works in ungodly ways what what do we mean when we say ungodly Ungodly means those people do sins. Those people do immoral things. When the word of God is in you, you will not work with these people. You will not start sitting with people and start gossiping. You will not sit in the council of those men or women and start gossiping other people. Start talking against the church. Start talking against the, the work of God. Start talking against the other families. Start talking against even other people's life. You will not when the word of God is in you. You will not do anything wrong when the word of God is in you. Hundred percent, you will be having the law of God in your life, and you will be blessed because it starts by saying, "Blessed is the man." It means that when you don't work in this. Ways of an ungodly, you are blessed. You are blessed. Praise the living God. It means that you are blessed when you walk not in the ways of ungodly people. Nor stand in the paths of the sinners. You will not stand in the path of the sinners because this book of law is in you. Why? Why you are not standing in the path of the sinners? Because... You have the book of law. You have all the instructions is new. It's like when you walk in a place and you have the rules. You will not break those rules because already you have read it. When you have the rules of the God, will you switch on your phone? You will put off your phone because you have already read the rules. You have already read the rules of the law. And you find it, you will not break it. When you a few so you will not stand in the ways of the sinners because the book of law is in you. The word of God is in you. So all the time when you are working, you are working carefully. What the Bible has told us in the book of Joshua. You have served it carefully. So when you are working, you are so blessed because you are not working in the ways of the sinners. And it's continued to say is what? Nor sit in the seats of the scornful those people who are sitting and start discussing people you'll never sit on those seats how to songesha kiti chako na kukaa chini na kusema ai unaweza kuna wale watu ambapo umati ama usengenyachi gossip inawaleta pamoja you will never sit in that seat kuna mtu leo hii kwake anatengeneza chai kwa sababu ya kuongea kwa sababu ya machirani kuongea kwa sababu ya mume wa watu mke wa watu 
Sile viti ambao umekalea pale kwa nyumba They have sit in the seat of scornful people They start talking and talking You start eating the food of the scornful people You start having a conversation of a scornful people Pani Yesu asifiwe But today you are so blessed When you allow the word of God is in, to dwell in you You are blessed when you allow this world to be in you Pani Yesu asifiwe So I urge us I urge us today Please let us allow this word of God to dwell in us to dwell in our life what it continues saying what but his delight is in the law of the lord the person who not walk in the ways of his scornful the ways of sinners his delight is in the lord panisa sifiwe his delight is in the lord why why is delight is in the is in the lord because all the time the word of god you de, your delights are in the ways of the lord you are so prosperous in your life because the word of god is in you everything that you do it you delight in the lord you your ways are open because you are in the lord your, the book of law, it is in you, Bani Yesu Asifiwe. And that is the Holy Spirit. And then he continues saying, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditate day and night. In his law he meditate day and night. What you meditate day and night? The word of the Lord. Bani Yesu Asifiwe. The word of the Lord is the one that you are meditating day and night. And then, now, I want us to look. What are the benefits of us when we start meditating about the word of the Lord? When we allow the word of God to dwell in us, what are these benefits? The blessings, the blessings of meditating the word of God. The blessings of meditating the word of God. What are the blessings? That when we meditate about the word of God, we find there are many blessings that we are getting when we meditate about the word of the Lord. The blessings number one, it says, He shall be like a tree. We are continuing in the book of Psalms. Now we are looking about the blessings of meditating upon the word of the Lord. Or the benefit of meditating upon the word of the Lord. The Papa is telling us that number one is, He shall be like a tree planted by river of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. When you meditate upon the word of the Lord, number one is, you shall bring your fruit in each season. 